Hello. In this video I would like uh, to explain how to set or like force a specific color mode in Chakra. Because this documentation is only uh, half of the story. And people ask this question anyway. So what is the problem? We have a light theme over here. We can switch it to dark and back. But notice this uh, top uh, banner or whatever it is. It does not change. And it cut its own theme within the whole site. And similar uh, cases are very common. For example, on GitHub we have this dark header, dark me top menu. And like we set the whole team to be light, but this mm, this header is different. It's different, and when we define it, most people do what seems the easiest to start is like just set background to dark gray and set colors of all this stuff to white. So they manually overwrite each component, each text component, hidden icons, etc., which is. Um, very time consuming and this it's hard to support because obviously we have like too many attributes what you would like instead is to say or tell uh, chakra that this component it should be dark color mode it should has dark color mode or to belong to dark theme regardless of the of the uh, global color mode so i guess the definition of the task is clear now let's see what Chakra UI proposes. So they describe togglers and eventually they describe how to force a specific mode. So here you see they uh, have some components, dark mode and light mode. It's not it's not shown from where they import these components, but it's just Chakra UI React. And uh, here when we toggle these buttons stay fixed. So it seems like the problem is solved. But it's not really the case. Um, not sure if it will appear here. Let's see. Yes, it appears. So let, let's explore in this sandbox. So we have a text which should be light mode uh, text component. And we can do the same with hidden. Um, light mode hidden and now repeat the same steps for dark mode dark mode hidden light mode hidden I guess this hidden takes too much space so I will remove it but just know that it will behave in the same way as text so now when we toggle modes, you see that something is not right about this text. It, it toggles with the global color mode, right? It, it doesn't behave in the same way as these buttons. So this light mode it seems like it's either it's broken for text or text does not follow it or something else is going on. And that was uh, the reason why people ask um, similar questions like, like what is the proper way of setting font colors? And what uh, many people suggest is that you can like define constants, light mode, dark mode, secondary, primary, and you can, uh, you can set text styles to reflect current mode. So color will depend on dark and light mode. It seems like, like it's obvious and very um, it's a very good solution, but it's not really a very good solution. Uh, the problem here is that by default text it, it over uh, it um, inherits it inherits uh, its color. Text does not set its uh, text component does not set its color. Which is a very smart uh, decision because, for example, if we have something like Encore, not sure if it will be imported here and we don't have imports, but 
let's just say text with an anchor it will be it should be blue right it should be blue if this text inherits and if this text component it sets some color white or black it will overwrite this blue color from anchor and for a dark theme it can be orange or whatever the point is that we don't we don't want in most cases we want text uh, by default it should inherit if we say something like font color of course it should be applied but by default the, the only um, reasonable default behavior for text col font color is to inherit and that is what we lose here with this approach and that's what people appreciate but they don't understand this problem and that's why I explained Let's uh, go one more time. Text inherits color by default, which makes it composable. The key word is composition. It's not only about links, it's about other elements which set colors and all uh, cases of composition will be broken if we follow this approach. And then I just uh, explained that dark mode and light mode, they do not send the font color. So buttons behave in a way we want, but texts and headings do not. Now let's see how I would personally approach this. So we have the same case as in Chakra Sandbox and do the same problem. This stuff toggles, but this stuff toggles as well, which it should which uh, it shouldn't do. Only buttons stay constant. And we are trying light mode and some background. Now let's roll back to the solution I proposed in that GitHub thread and see how it behaves. Now it's correct and as you can see there is no font color white here, no font color white here, no font color black here, no font color black here. There is no um, no attribute spam. Everything is clean and adapts automatically. It reacts to this color mode. Like this. So how this color mode is built? It's actually a pretty simple component, which relies on few um, a few experts from Chakra. So first is light mode which makes these buttons work, like be, uh, be constant. And to, uh, to make text behave the same, we first need to set this data theme light, data theme uh, dark, which is not really documented, but you can find it in uh, sources and somewhere in the documentation, maybe it's kind of mentioned. What it does, it, it sets, um, let's see, this dark mode for example data team dark you see that the data team dark it makes kind of sets new uh, custom css props when we set a dark theme it sets body text to be white and when we set light theme it sets sets body text to be black so we can just reuse the css property we can reuse it globally, uh, like here, global data theme, color, or if we think it's too risky to collide with something from Chakra, maybe in the future, we can define it like this. The behavior will be absolutely identical. And I'm not sure, by the way, if we can shorten this to something like body text i've tried to, in a couple of combinations and mm, got no uh, positive result but maybe you can advise me to replace this whole variable with something shorter some design token like they call it i'm pretty new to chakra so i don't know i'm not aware of all these details so we said that at seam we optionally set a background because in my like in, just in my uh, view when we define this component we usually want to provide some background 
but it's not necessary because we, because we can set background in a div above or in div below. For example, if it can have some background image or whatever. So just a shortcut, but for full flexibility, you would require more components in some cases. So now it behaves correctly. So it can be a fixed heading, it can be a fixed foot, footer, you know. So that's what all I wanted to share today. Thank you for your attention. Please let me know if you would like to see more videos on Chakra or front-end in general.